Hello fellow mutants, welcome back to another video, and great news for Star Wars fans that Tamora Morrison, who is Boba Fett, Jango Fett, and the Clone Troopers, I mean life action Star Wars, ha is returning to the Star Wars universe in Ahsoka. So let's give this a read, shall we? Tamora Morrison will be making his return to Star Wars universe. Later this year, to 2023's Ahsoka, multiple sources tell one take tell one takes news. Morrison will be returning as the, the fan favorite Captain Rex. Although it's unclear if he will appear in flashbacks or in present time, it's also unclear if Morrison will be playing any other clones in the series. Lucasfilm has no comment. Had no comment. Uh, Captain Rex, also known as CT-7567, is a fan favorite character who first debuted, who, who first made his debut in 2008's The Clone Wars. He is Anakin Skywalker's first in command, one of the best clones in the entire clone army, a friend to many Jedi, especially at Sokotano, and Rex was one of the few clones not to execute Order 66 as he had his inhibitor chip removed. Well, that... That statement that he did not execute Order 66... That is a... Uh, um, kind of an understatement because at first he did. And in Clone Wars Season 7, he tries to kill Ahsoka. So, it's not out of the... Like, he did try to... I guess he was Order 66 and Ahsoka. Sure, he failed at killing Ahsoka, but he did execute Order 66, essentially. Then Ahsoka, with the help of some droids, knocked him out. Ahsoka was able to remove his inhibitor chip. And since that point, he didn't execute Order 66. In fact, Rax helped Ahsoka escape the ship. So that little statement is kind of inaccurate. I'm sorry. Anyways. Rex quickly became a fan favorite character as we learned more about him as he and as he was given the most character development development of any other clones. Rex appeared again in Star Wars Rebels, a bit older and plumper, to as well as the Bad Bats and Tales of the Jedi. It's also widely speculated by fans that during Return of the Jedi. One of the rebel tr troops on Endor was Rex. However, that has yet to be confirmed. It, in all of his appearances, Steve Bradley Baker has voiced the character. Rex's appearance in Ahsoka would be the character's live-action debut and Morrison's first time playing the character. That would be cool. Because we've seen, um, Tamar Morrison, um, play as like be Commander Cody and that was like Commander Cody was in the Revenge of the Sith so like I'd be, honestly, I have to say pretty badass to see Tamar Morrison being uh, Captain Rex so I'll be up for that I'll be up for that Rex will be old though at this point because in Rebels he was old so I like this that would be interesting to see um, in live action. Um, Ahsoka is the brainchild of George Lucas' protege, Dave Filoni, who created Rex along with the Clone Wars and Rebels. Filoni also wrote all the episodes and, according to sources, directed at least two episodes of the series. Sources also tell us that Lucasfilm executives have been absolutely blown away by the series' early cuts, and it was... A big reason why, as to why Filoni got himself a Star Wars movie. John Favreau produces alongside Filoni as this series is part of the Mandoverse. Read the synopsis of Ahsoka. Was the synopsis of the of Ahsoka is after set after the fall of the Empire, Ahsoka follows the former Jedi Knight Ahsoka Tano. As she investigates an emerging, emerging threat to a vulnerable galaxy, 
Ahsoka stories, Rosario Dawson, and then some of the... Uh, I'm not going to go through the whole cast. Uh, the series is currently slated to come out in August 2023. So, let's ask us if we're excited for Rex's return. If this is true, if we're going to see Rex in Ahsoka, that would be so badass. I will be excited. Because tomorrow Morrison, I think he made a really good Jingle Fett. He did... He made a a pretty great Boba Fett. Especially under the skirt of girl. And like, circumstances that he was in in Book of Boba where Boba Fett in there. Maybe it was not the same Boba Fett that we all knew and grew to love from the Clone Wars and then... As well as like, um, original trilogy that seemed to be there in Mandalorian, but not in Book of Boba. So like, seeing, seeing, um, Tamar Morrison and Tamar Morrison also did make really like did. I love Tamar Morrison seeing him as the clone troopers. It was really cool. Um, but he gets like, I wonder if he gets like paid royalties every single time a clone trooper is used. If that's the case, was I like, I don't really expect him to make royalties for every single time the clone troopers are used since he's not the one created it. But like, it, how would that in the world where if he did get royalties every single time a clone gets used? Jamar Morrison must be a very rich man. <laughs> Just saying. But, um... No. Because I think the last time we saw Tamar Morrison as a bounty hunter, not a bounty hunter, a clone trooper was in, um... Book of Bob... Uh, not Book of Bobo. The Kenobi show. When that clone trooper was asking Obi-Wan for change. So... I think... Tomorrow Morrison can definitely pull Captain Rex off. I'll be up for seeing a live action Captain Rex. Since this um the Zoko show is being led by Dave Filoni, I have faith in the Ahsoka show to debatably be the best Star Wars show since Mando season two. Actually no sorry. Andor season one. Guess I think Andor season one was the best thing since Mando season two, so I have faith that Soka could be the best thing since Andor season one. But um, yeah, I would be very I'm. If Tamar Morrison isn't in Soka, you can sure bet your bottom. This guy will nerd the hell out. But what do you beautiful people have to say about this? Let me know in the comment section down below. Love you guys. One more day. Got one another. May the force be with us all.